start of your Sunday video. It's gonna be a few videos with this one, so I don't know, this might go a little bit longer than most of them. And the reason being is unfortunately, we, me, I am not happy with the 1990 Marenzer, the first one. Yeah, he's growing, he's slow, but it's hard to see in the, he's kinda got some weird spots. He's got a weird spot right over there. Let me see if I can, there's a weird spot on it. So I'm, even though it's a three lober, I'm not too concerned. His stem is very short. So for me, as big as a pumpkin as I want to grow, it just doesn't quite make the cut. So we do have a very nice backup on here. He's right in there. And we like the backup, looks great. So we're gonna have to move all of this apparatus over here. So that's what we're gonna get going, doing right now. It'd be a lot easier if we were outside, but we're not outside. So it's gonna look a little different. I'll check back in with you guys later. All right, so Cade's in here helping me get prepared. And now uh, you can see, here's the one that we like. It's a four lober, much better to see. And I'm just gonna show you as we prepare. We'll probably take several videos of us doing this throughout the day today. So we'll probably have two videos being posted today. So there it is. Now we've got a good setup. We like this one a lot. I have to redirect this vine. I'll, the patents have a better video of them doing this. So if you wanted to, I might even link back to them doing theirs. I do it a little bit different. I do like to try to keep my side vines. I just redirect them. So they cut theirs off. You can decide if you have to do with this, what you want to do. So here's the pumpkin. What I really want to do is get its main vine. As you can see, it's way back in here. So it comes from that pumpkin, it comes up here. So I got a good bow in my main vine already. I'm just gonna straighten this one out to be a little bit more over here. And then I'm gonna take the main vine, which runs right here. I want to redirect it to run more back here. So it'll come back here and then it'll cur curve and then more here. So I'm just kind of looping it. The, right now the main vine runs straight down here, loops to the pumpkin and loops back. And I'm just gonna continue with that loop back to here and then back there. It might actually turn out really good because this side vine here, I'm gonna redirect that side vine there. I'm just gonna redirect and it's gonna feel where the pumpkin was going to sit. So where my tarp is, I'm gonna move that tarp over here. All right, we'll take another video in the next one and you can kind of see where we're at. All right, so now we got it moved. Cade has his pitchfork out because he's gonna aerate the soil where it used to sit. Now I wanted to give you all a little look of what happens underneath of those. If we don't move it. Now we'll try to get those covered back up and look at those roots. Dang, and I don't take the pumpkin off until I have the other one set up because just in case something goes wrong, I wanna be able to use that. But look at those roots in there. Roots down there. So we'll come back through here and put some soil on top of those just to cover them up to help let them grow. And now we'll get this, we're gonna move the side vines. Okay, so now Cade is finished. He's finished from cleaning up the roots. You can see there's a pumpkin. Now we got that. I just need to move it this way a little bit so it sits more over here. We'll put its styrofoam and stuff underneath of it. You can see there's the mat. We've redirected that vine here. We've redirected that vine growing back that way. We'll cover them up, but we'll leave them. They will just pop straight back up on their own. Right now they're kind of laying down. Don't mess with them. They'll do their own thing. Don't worry about trying to get them corrected. Just cover up their roots and you'll be good to go. So you can see we put our walking boards back here. Cade's finishing up. He's making sure all of the roots are clean, covered up. Don't worry about underneath the pumpkin. Get all the other ones first. Cade, don't worry about the other one because I just said that. <laughs> Kids. So you see what he did, which was a big mistake. First, he's touched the pumpkin with his hand. We don't know that we're not gonna use this one yet. So he hit it with the shovel, which was not good. And he's touched it, so he's dirty right now. That's not also not good. Hopefully, when he hit it with the shovel, it didn't cause any problems. We got kids, they're learning, right buddy? 
because we don't we haven't moved this one yet that we can crack this and we have to go with this one so that's why you gotta be careful and they're learning that's the thing cover those roots up back there you can see them underneath it there right underneath right by where you're at okay we'll see you back in a little bit okay here it is cut off right there and now we got the pumpkin set up right where we want it you got the big bow, bow in the vine you can see that i'll actually move that in the next couple of days a little bit more that way a little bit more that way but not much pull it just so we got a big big huge bow in the vine boy it comes from clear over here the biggest one ever so now we just need to grow the biggest pumpkin ever right so there it is nice four lober pumpkin i'm way more happy with set up we'll cover up the vines now get the roots to set back in we'll cover up this area with leaves and vines and nothing that was cut off no vines were cut off so we still have the one coming off of there i'll move it as it grows i won't cover up any of its roots because it's going to be right on it so that vine there its roots won't get covered up it's growing back that way we'll redirect it let it fill in right back here a little bit all are good looking great awesome man 